Casey's covered in these cattail seeds. <laughs> Spreading the love. <laughs> Spreading the love. <laughs> we are gonna start pulling. It's our first really nice day here in Wisconsin, so we're just gonna enjoy doing a good garden cleanup. This is our first day of the year that we actually get to work in the garden, so. Yeah, outside of the greenhouse. Yeah. So. It's a nice day, so we gotta get the greenhouse open. That's some fresh air in yeah. here. You're ready to go in there too, Mount Fuzz. All right. It's beautiful. It is, and we got both doors able to open up now. It's a perfect day to air out the greenhouse and let everything get some fresh air. Well, the main objective today is to get as much stuff as we can pulled out of the uh, the raised beds. But we got a lot of beds here to uh, to clean out. We decided to leave everything in them throughout the winter. And as long as everything grows in these the same as it did last year, we'll do the same thing because it looks so amazing. We attracted a lot of birds with the sunflowers like you can see there. Here, doing something. Oh, love it. Wow, Sayla, good job. <laughs> That's a big one. That's okay, though. Yep, go ahead. You got it. That's a tough one there. Yeah, this was the popcorn plant and it actually gets roots like a tree so they're really thick and they go really deep down so this might be one that we have to just cut off because I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Let's see, yeah this thing is like a, holy cow that's hard. Ooh, yeah, I'm not breaking my back over it. So. Not worth it, no. on the first day. The sailor goes, I can do it, I'm young. <laughs> 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 we all pull together. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh! All right, oh, teamwork. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Must be those young, young muscles. Boys are heavy. And they are froze down here. Hopefully they come out like the other one. Whew. Lana and Sailor are working on these beds over here. So right now they're pulling old nasturtium out of there. One of the cool things about doing this is when you're pulling stuff out, it kind of brings back the memories. Like, oh yeah, this was this, or this yeah, was that. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of a cool thing. Just know that it's gonna be completely different this year because yeah. we do crop rotation, so. Mm -hmm. Good job, Lana. All right, well, I'll go and dump this load here. Here's our dump pile here, right next to our new garden. It's gonna be our new pumpkin patch for the year. This area here was uh, where we grew a lot of the tomatoes just on the ground like the olden days. And I'll tell you what, we've had more tomato production and the tomatoes getting even larger that way than how they are when we actually trellis them so I think we're gonna just stick with it old fashioned way and stop caging them and just let them do their thing. 
if we ever do decide to sell tomatoes, we can market them as cage-free tomatoes. People are gonna love that. <laughs> Look at me! Oh, good job! This is great! If you like what you're seeing here and you like my jokes, please subscribe. <laughs> Let me see. They're finding some onions we forgot to harvest over I here. Smell. It does smell good. It's nice to have some fresh smells out yeah, here. Yeah, now it's going to make me hungry. I'm going to want a hamburger. <laughs> a mushy onion. Let's see. Eat it. Jason. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. You know, I'll eat almost anything, but uh, not that. <laughs> what about this one, Jason? Will you eat that? Will you try to eat that? Let's see. Is it squishy? Ooh. Jason eats anything and everything from the garden. We'll see if this is actually... If you could leave an onion out all winter, I'm gonna peel some of the, the layers back here. Are you gonna eat it? I'll take a bite. Okay. It's actually good. It doesn't have any uh, like bite anymore, like no uh, like spice, no burn. Very minimal burn. Hmm. Daddy, do you want another? It's actually really good. A little bit of burn. Now I'm getting a little bit of burn in the back of the throat. <laughs> not a lot though. Not like if this were a normal. Now it's starting onion. to burn. <laughs> <laughs> now it's really starting to burn. No, no, it was actually pretty good. Are you gonna try it, Lana? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sailor, are you gonna try it? No. <laughs> Is Lana gonna? I'm just peeling this. <laughs> Trying to get this tropic giant out of here. The cabbage. The cabbage is pretty much just uh, a must pile right now. We left a couple in without eating just because we wanted to see how huge they'd actually get if they were just sitting in there the whole time. And the one we did try was actually really good. Just mm -hmm. tastes like regular cabbage, but it was awesome. It smells. Like cabbage. <laughs> so check it out. These onions are actually starting to uh, sprout up again here. See the shoots coming up here, and then yeah, like this one here. Ow. We got stuff growing in these gardens already. What? Some of the raised beds are still frozen, so we might leave some things here and there until hopefully after today it'll thaw it out, but. Taking a break from out there, there's still watering to do. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, when I see things dry, you gotta yeah. drain and water before it dies. But it's kind of cool because we're cleaning up all these old beds outside, but yet there's so much life in here. Yeah. And it needs to be watered and taken care of, and it's just really neat. It is. I love it. It's an awesome addition. But I'm getting hot. I mean, we have both doors open, but it's still 80 in here. It's oh, awesome. for sure. Yeah. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Eating a snack, huh? So in the past week especially, we've gotten a lot of birds that have come back. Golden finches, regular finches, red-winged blackbirds. There's a, uh, a golden finch up in the... Uh, see if I can zoom in there. Those golden finches, they also really like this millet grass. I love it. A lot of birds do. Yep, and they even fight over it. And I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see more videos of that. So this year we're gonna try to focus a lot uh, on nature-oriented video. Lana and Sailor are picking up little pine cones. So in that way, once the time comes to really hang out here, we uh, don't have anything hurting our feet. Well, Casey and I started a podcast this year. It's based on kind of what the videos are. So we've got family, we've got gardens, Check it out. We'd really appreciate your feedback and like to see what you guys think about it. We're going to put the link in the description below. This year we may also be uh, selling some Fool Dew birch branches <laughs> here. They're part of the uh, broccoli plant and... Uh, they look cool after they're wintered over. They actually really do. Yeah. They really do. But uh, probably be smelly for a decoration. I think. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have company over. They'd be like, oh, it's so cool. What's that smell in your house? <laughs>
And that's why we make this area nice and wide in between for cleanups. Yep. And loading things in. <laughs> We got that thing for cutting really heavy weeds and corn, I guess. Well, the, some of these beds are still frozen, so we can't yank anything. So it's just nice to get at least the debris cleaned up and we'll worry about that in another few weeks when things thaw a little bit more, yeah. He doesn't need it, but he's gonna use it anyway. Watch out. These are our strawberry beds and we're cutting them down now. We usually cut them back right after they're done producing, but they had so much extra growth. So we're cutting them back now, getting all the icky, growth off of them. Sayla, you taking a little break in here? Yeah, this is my favorite. Is that your shade tree? <laughs> and then there's Fuzzy trying to eat a little cat grass. Here, Fuzz. There you go. Aw, she's hungry. She's working up a little appetite, huh, Fuzz? Yeah. We do have some beans ready over here. Let's see. Here's some, Sayla. We have to take these off. Though. How's it taste? Look at this one. Save some for Lana, though, okay? No. <laughs> Lana! You want some beans? Whoa! Aw, that was nice of her to share, huh? Like them. Yeah, they're yellow beans. I gave her mine and she ate mine like she ate a bean? Fuzzy's a healthy little eater. Our snapdragons are coming along really, really nice. This is an early batch of them, so that's why they're further along. Geraniums are in blossom and it looks really cool because it's nice to just see some color and flowers this time of year. The container that Sayla and I potted up uh, in December is really growing a lot. Can't do some parts so I can have a bite and Fuzzy can have a bite. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> this one's squeaky. Listen to that sound of the fresh crunch of a green bean. You hey, get everyone. little snacks, Fuzz. Today I did a post on Instagram about this eucalyptus and how tall it is. And it's taller than me when it's sitting on the ground. And I'm 5'8", so it's about 6 feet. Uh, 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 uh. It's taller than me! Can you reach it? Can you reach the top? Um, I think I'm still really small. <laughs> That's all right, that's all right. Look at that, you guys. We cleaned out all of the beds. I'm really exhausted. <laughs> this was like a really hard physical day of work today in the garden, and it was all day. It was fun, but uh, I think I'm ready to call it a day. Oh, look at those little eye rubs. Mm. <laughs> and there's little seal. Oh, you rubbing your eyes too? Aww. What's this?
free to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell as well. That way you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you for watching. Oh, the tickly me actually. She's not hugging me. <laughs>